What's up, YouTube? This is Reverend Bob. I want to give you a little update, guys. You know, I have little classes that I teach you guys the basics of coin collecting. What to look for, what to do, you know, the basic prices, guides. Um, you know, when you're buying something that's old, it's difficult sometimes. There's a lot of fakes out there. I keep telling you guys, there's a lot of fakes out there. You've got to be careful with every kind of coin. Okay. If you're not sure, only buy it from somebody that you actually trust. You know, somebody that does business with people who, you know, verify it through a metalytics machine. Um, or it's in the proper NGC, PCGS, ANAC, ICG holders, right? They're even faking these holders. Guys, look. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. You know, Morgans generally range from about, you know, fifty dollars, forty to fifty dollars, starting bids. Um, buy it nows can range anywhere from, you know, forty dollars to, you know, one point six million dollars or more. I mean, sky's the limit with Morgans. If you don't know what you're looking for, you don't know the VAMs, <coughs> you don't know the cost of, you know, sending it in. If you're not sure of a holder. If you haven't been collecting that long and you don't understand what holders look like, you don't understand how the stickers are placed, you don't understand how, you know, each one of these coins are holded, there's no online verification, there's no way to track it, then, you know, don't waste your money or your time. I don't care if it's a friend or family or who it is. If they haven't established a good relationship with you over coins, especially right now, with the pandemic going on and all of these people out of work, um, you know, different countries right now, look, there's no, there's no couth, all right? These people, there's people out there that have no couth, they don't care, they're, you know, they'll just run you through the mill, they'll sell you stuff that isn't real, you know, and they'll tell you that it's some kind of great coin, and then in the end you find out, you got duped. I'm telling you guys, okay? There's been several people uh, who have messaged me who either, you know, who's been subscribers to the channel and some of them are regular family members and they're getting duped, okay? With fake stuff. You know, they're going out there and paying all kinds of money. Look. Maybe not everybody always likes my prices. But at least I have my coins checked. I do my homework. I do my research. I buy from the same dealers I've been dealing with for a long time. You know, unless somebody says, oh, hey, Bob, you know, this guy wants to sell a lot, you know, or whatever. Okay. I do what I do and I buy from the people I buy. Why? One, I trust them. Are they perfect? Can something slip through? Possibly, but it's a rare thing, okay? Um, but, you know, sometimes you might pay, oh, somebody else has got a coin for, you know, $45. Somebody else has got a coin for $50. Somebody else has got a coin for $48 that I deal with, okay? They need to make a little money. They need to keep the business going so that they can bring real stuff to us. Okay, you might pay fifty, sixty, seventy dollars, even up to you know a couple hundred dollars from a coin from me. But the one thing about it is, you know, at least you know I know a little bit about the coins, right? And if it's not me, buy it from a dealer, okay, that knows what you're talking about. Somebody that when you go in there, they can speak the same lingo that you've heard me talk. There is a specific language. You know, that's incurred in coin collecting, you know. VAMs. If they don't know what a variety is, they don't know what die clash, double die obverse, double die reverse, right? If they don't know what a 9A, 3B, uh, you know, if they don't understand these, these acronyms, then they're probably a fly-by-night company. Somebody that hasn't been in business long, and they're just trying to, you know... Get on the bus of making a lot of money. There's a lot of people out there. Anybody can go and watch somebody else's channel that hasn't been doing it a long time. 
but watching somebody else's channel that has, get a little bit of lingo, talk a little bit of smack, just enough to draw you in and get your money. Then, you know, they're here today and going tomorrow. You've got to be very careful. And this has been going on, and I keep preaching about it. You know, I had a class last night. So if you're watching this video right now, you know, go and watch last night's video that I did, live stream. And listen to what I have to say, okay? Before you go and invest your money into something that's junk. You know, or you send it to me and you want me to look at it or verify the coin. Okay? Don't waste my time, your time, and your money, okay, by going out there and not being properly prepared. You don't go to war without any clothes on and no bullets. Okay? Because you're bound to get killed. It's the same way with dealing with coins. I don't care if it's pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, halves, dollars. It doesn't matter. Paper money, foreign currency. Look, you got to know what you're looking at, guys. And if you're just getting started, pick somebody that knows what they're talking about. Okay? I mean, that's really important. I mean, there's plenty of us out there. We, you know, we do this and we, we charge a little bit more. But, you know, we're spending the time to educate you guys. Okay? It takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours every week. Okay? Of our time, maybe because we're, you know, um, retired or disabled or what have you. Still, we're putting in all these times and this time and hours to try to educate you guys. So that you can have a nice collection. So that you can feel comfortable and secure in the purchases that you make. Don't be a fool. Okay? Because if you go and do this. And you know. You, you're one of them. Um, people that get on the quick buy train. Because you think you're getting a good deal. Well maybe you're not. Look. no, Not everybody's your friend. You have to understand that. So just be cautious. Will you please? Please, I mean, this is getting out of hand. I mean, I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, but, you know, I have auctions. You know, I sort out this stuff. It takes me all week long to do this. You know, in pain or not, I'm still doing it for you. Because I want you guys to be able to have a nice collection. I want you guys to be able to have something to pass down to your children and your grandchildren. I want you guys to be able to look at something and, and know that you got something cool. Look. The Morgan race is a hard race. If you're collecting Morgans or you're collecting specific um, years of varieties in any kind of currency, okay? It's a long, hard journey. Be patient. Okay? I mean, I can't get any more serious than I'm getting right now. This, is, this just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay? And watch people's other videos. If somebody puts out something like, you know, there's plenty of people in the family that have immense amounts of knowledge. Maybe not everybody speaks the same exactly lingo. But there's a lot of us with a lot of work and knowledge. Okay? All you have to do is ask us. You know, always get two or three opinions before you do something. Please. Okay? All right, guys. I love you guys. Take care. Be cautious. Remember, always be cautious. All right, we'll see you guys Sunday, um, probably at 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to, it's Valentine's Day, and I'm going to bring a bunch of different coins. You know, I'm not always going to say I'm going to have the best price, but I don't do this to make money for myself. I do this for charity work, okay? I do this to buy things or help people out with their bills, you know, um, I'm not in it to uh, make myself rich or make myself look good or have a big YouTube name. That's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it out uh, of the graciousness of my own time and my heart to try to help you guys get on to doing something that's simple. You know, you can learn from it and it's exciting and you can share it with your children, your grandchildren, okay, and other family members. So be wise and listen to what the old guys say. Okay? There's a lot of us that have been doing this a long time. So, anyway, take care. God bless. This is Reverend Bob, the Coin Guru Minister. I'm out of here. We'll see you Sunday. Peace.